What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another top 5 video for you and today we are looking at the top 5 unobtainable guns in Borderlands the pre-sequel. These guns are in the coding of the game but there is no way as of this time to actually get them. So let's get right into it. Let's get started already. Number 5! Five. Number 5 is the old painful. This Vladoff assault rifle is fast, powerful, and has a gimmick similar to that of the ice cream assault rifle that you get for Nurse Nina, in that it plays a sort of terrible ice cream man tune while you're shooting it. The old painful is only available in Fire Element, making it a good bookend for the ice cream, which is cryo only. Now my best guess for a release for this weapon would be around Christmas in the Marcus Mercenary Day celebration, possibly as a drop from reskinned enemies. Okay, here we are at number four! Number four is the Heartbreaker. This classic shotgun returns from Borderlands 2 and it's just as good as before. Very high fire rate, decent damage output, and to top it all off, this gun heals you while you do damage since it's a moxie weapon. This one, just like the old painful, is fire elemental only. Now my best guess for when we might see this one added to the game is hopefully with the Moxie Holodome DLC as a reward for its completion, but if not, then you can expect this one in February as a Valentine's Celebration reward or drop. And the bronze medal goes to... Number 3 is the Fibber. Now this is another returning unique from Borderlands 2, and with the right parts and barrel, this one works much the same way as its predecessor. Aiming at the ground in front of your enemies will cause the bullets to ricochet in a straight path, splitting apart into additional bullets, all of which receive a massive critical hit damage bonus. Now in Borderlands 2 that was 700%, but with no firing range dummy, I am not sure how much it does in the pre-sequel. This one can spawn in any element, and my best guess for when you might see this one released, probably not until you get a new campaign DLC, uh, as this would make a very good side mission reward, much like it was in Borderlands 2. And now the number that number one spits on, number two! Number two is the Lady Fist. Now the Lady Fist is a gun that's been around for all of the main Borderlands games, starting as the Lady Finger in Borderlands 1, before becoming the Lady Fist in Borderlands 2. Now in Borderlands 2, this gun had a very impressive 800% critical hit damage bonus, and the same holds true here in the pre-sequel. No matter which character you would use this on, it is an absolute beast of a pistol. Now this one can spawn with any element, and my best guess for when you might see a release for this would fall in line with my thoughts on the Fibber. This one feels best suited as a campaign DLC weapon to be obtained as a mission reward, but... Many people are speculating, based on the coding of the game, that this one is actually already supposed to be dropping from the outcast in Stanton's liver, and that the drop is just bugged because of a fault in coding. But we'll just have to wait and see on this one. And finally, here we are at number one! Number one is the machine. This flat-off sniper rifle reminds me of the Lauda from Borderlands 2, except the longer you hold down the trigger on this one, the higher your damage output goes. This gun is so powerful that you can slay most bosses and many bosses with a single clip. Now the only drawback to this sniper is the lack of sniper ammo capacity in the game. Now that is overcome by the sheer power of this weapon in most cases, but if you're not on the constant lookout for ammo, then you will run out fast. Now my best guess for when we might see a release on this one, once again probably this one's going to be a campaign DLC add-on. But, I would love to see Gearbox add this in as some sort of very special challenge completion though. Because this gun is so massively overpowered that obtaining it needs to be something that we really have to work hard at. But, that's just my opinion. So, what do you guys think? What are your picks? When and how do you think we'll get them? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please take a moment to click that like button. Hit subscribe for more tips and tricks and other top 5 videos. Also, please take a moment to check out the Bandit Show, who provided me with the number transitions that I use between each of these segments, and I'll be using those on all my future top 5 videos. These guys are great, they're hilarious, and they have some Borderlands content that you will not see anywhere else. Link to their channel is in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.